Hello friends! Today I have a fun project. I thought we'd go do our throwback uh, art. Um, remember when we were kids and we used to do the Valentine heart um, challenges in school and try to do competitions and whatnot? I remember doing them in my school anyways for art. And um, sometimes we'd make little pockets. They'd have the teachers would ask us to make our own little heart pockets to put all the, the little Valentines in from all the other students. Um, sometimes they were just hanging up. Well, that's what I want to do today. I want to challenge you to make a Valentine with scrap paper, scrap stuff, as much scrap stuff as you can. This is a backing of paper, a pad, and so I'm recycling that. And I thought it would be really fun to make a Valentine, just like the old days kind of uh, kick it up a notch and um, do it our now way we would do it for mixed media when we didn't know that about that when we were kids did we and just use your scrap papers your t coffee tea dye stuff uh, you know book paper leftover scraps paper napkins add some filler to it put whatever but uh, I thought it would be really fun to do a challenge so about the size I'm looking for, I'm going to ask that if you do it on a 12 by 12 card stock or something like that, or a cardboard, and then just do your heart within this one here um, is 10 and a half, and at the most, let's see, well, he's 9 inches from the center here to here, so 10 and a half wide, and from point here to this point here, it's 9 inches. So, about that, you know, like within the 12 by 12 card. So, it can be as wonky as you want it, the heart to be, but I thought it would be a really fun challenge to play with this. Um, there's so much we can do. We can add lace, all the things that we have. Don't buy something for this. This is a challenge to just have some scraps that you want to use up, some things that you have lying around and you want to use up in your stash. That kind of a uh, thing. The challenge is to use up our scraps for this cute project. There we go. I have this shoe box full of book paper. And I mean, it's got to get used up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab some book paper here. And I'm going to throw it on and make my cards even thicker and stronger. And this book paper here is pretty uh, stained and old, so it's going to be good. It's mixed stuff. So, and I'm going to use my um, matte medium from Deco Art to paste it down. And this is a really good glue. I think I'm just going to use that for the heck of it today. I'm actually going to probably change my mind on that, I'm thinking. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just use my matte glue sealer here because I want to kind of use up this bottle to open my new bottle. That way, I'm still using something I need to use up. So try to get the paints that are low and um, the things that you want to use up first before you get anything new out. So I'm just going with the, the paper first because I have no idea what I want to do. All I know is I want to just look around and use something like all my scraps. <laughs> so this cardstock that's in the back of all the, the paper um, books that you, you buy, um, pages, what is that called? You know, <laughs> designer paper? They're pretty thick. It's pretty thick stuff, so it will hold up really nice. But then I thought, well, to, it, it's a little shiny. This one has, like, some sheen on both sides, so I thought it would be really nice to stick some book paper on. And like I said, man, you should have seen I had a heck of a time opening this. I had to use pliers to wedge up this. So, I mean, it's something I need to use up. It was sitting for a while. I must have misplaced it and not realized that I needed to use that one up. 
So now I'm just placing book paper everywhere. It's really basic, nothing too fancy. But it'll be um, stronger and it'll give me some time to think and it'll have some something to more absorb, even though it has the finish on it with the glue. Something to absorb if I decide to put color down or something. So I have my heart. I did three sides on this side, three layers, just for the heck of it. And then I did one layer to kind of straighten it out on the back side. So I like that. And I have been thinking, I don't know, like what do I want to use? So I'm going to grab something I've been using a while. And these are my um, twist sticks, slick sticks. So I think I'm going to use that just for the heck of it. And these were bought, these were sent to me by uh, Karen Thomas, Thompson, Thomas, Thompson, Thompson. And um, yeah, so I really enjoy them. They move around really nice. So I thought, well, I'm just going to play with these today because I'm not sure what I want to do. Don't know exactly, but I'm just going to kind of play with these. Make kind of like a little patchwork type of thing maybe. So far I'm just going to outline my pieces here and then kind of work from there, I think. Because I just don't know and I'm kind of like thinking on, on the fly kind of a thing. Um, it'll be hard to kind of use markers on top of this if I decide to. It's a little bit like that got that crayon um, texture, but it's not impossible. So if I, want to, if I want to paint on it or something like that, I can still do that kind of thing. Just don't know. So I'm just going to kind of fill in my time playing with this, but you guys can do whatever you want. You can do some clear gesso on here and you can do some watercolor then, whatever you want. White gesso. And then just kind of play. I'm just going to make these lines as if they are part of the um, torn edge to give it more detail. So I thought this would be a really fun way to just kind of play and reminisce of the old old valentines we used to, heart valentine things we used to make as kids. So, pretty cute. I like that. I just picked any kind of definitions here. I didn't have anything picked out, but I could have chose something more. You know, finding the words that admire, love, uh, all those kind of words. I just decided to just throw them on because I was just using my scraps. I am not sure where I'm going with this. But I'm just going to play for a little bit. And see where it takes me. Adding some color. And playing with it here. I love how they move so easily. So nice. So just playing with that. That's kind of cute. I can go more solid if I want or whatever. I'm just putting some of that on there. I don't know why I have blue in here, but I decided just to put blue. Play with it. See if I like it. I might even add more lace. I could. You guys could do that. I don't know. I might just keep it kind of plain. don't know yet. There's so many options. Look at my blue fingers. So I'm just going to kind of get some there. I'm going to throw on some gesso. And I'm just going to use this gesso from Deco Art. Can you see it? And I'm just going to have to throw that on there. Because I want to... Do, 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 do. Oh, boy. 
My brush is getting a little stiff here. Do I make sure I clean them properly? That's not good. I want to smear some color here. And these uh, twistable sticks, slick sticks, are very moist. And put some of this in here. In my lid. So I don't transfer the color in there. That's just gesso doing this, so I thought that would be fun. These colors go really well together. As if you put the green, yellows, and that kind of thing, oranges in there, and then you'd be going brown and really crazy. I like this. There we go. Nice combination, and I love the way it's blending. There we go. Now I'm just adding a little bit more white in the edges. So I'm just kind of blending and having fun with it. Keep going and going and going. Isn't that pretty? Just two colors. Nope, three colors. I lied. Right? Did I do blue, purple, and red? So. Pretty nice. Highlight this. Don't know what I want to do yet. Well, I had quite a bit of fun with it so far. And it just started reminding me more and more of being a kid playing with this. So I want to do a cartoon um, painting on here. And I was thinking, I want to do a cartoon Frida. So I think I'm going to go for that. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to grab a few skin tones and um, I have pretty much everything right in front of me that I might use. So I don't really have to, I like that I have everything kind of set up for me. I don't have to really run off and grab anything. So I'm just going to grab my little Deco Arts um, acrylic paints here. I have some antique gold. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that. Maybe. From the top, it looked like a pretty nice <laughs> skin tone, so I'm not sure. Um, I do have some antique wash, white, sorry, antique white. And I'm going to use the desert sand as well as I'm going to use pebbles. So these are some skin tones I'm going to use. Hopefully they will be good. So here are some uh, ice cream um, lid, some of my tones for skin, and this is going to be like a, like I said, cartoon type um, painting. So I thought that'd be fun, but you guys can do whatever you want. You guys can add laces and do a whole bunch of stuff. So I have here the antique white, the coca, and desert sand. I also have the uh, antique rose as well as this brown here <laughs> so I am going to make the best face I can and I'm deciding not to even bother with gesso see if I can do it without gessoing up and I'm do I want to even just I think I'm just going to go for it and go for a nice kind of cartoony face. And just have fun with it. So I just kind of googled online here um, some cartoon images of Frida. So I'm just going by what I see here. And I think it'll be just, you know, a little bit of the her look. And we'll see how it works. Not having practiced this, just kind of on on the cuff, just trying to make go with it. 
I've decided I kind of what shape I wanted the face, so kind of going from there. And because it's a throwback, I thought, well, what fun to do something kind of what I used to do is like Mickey Mouse's and more cartoon things. So this is kind of going back to what I used to do. And then I'm going to make Little Nick. And then where we go? Something to do like that. Okay. Gonna dry it up in between, I think. I don't know. Um, I'm not making a realistic face, so I don't really have any shadings to go by. Um, but I'm just, I'm gonna throw another layer on. I'm gonna throw the um, desert sand on. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna make darker shades for around the eyes or not. We'll see how it just kind of goes. I'm just going with the flow with it. A lot of uh, the cartoon style that I could see here is kind of just a flat picture, nothing um, shading like. But I just knew that I don't know why I have fun with it. It kind of reminds me of that TV show, Bobby, if you recall, what's his name that did the Bobby, and it's the shape of the face <laughs> that I'm doing. There we go. So fun. I'm going to have to dry up another layer. Once that side, I'm just going to let it draw, dry naturally. I'm going to go all the way around the heart with a little bit of cotton ball. And there goes my dogs. A little bit of cotton ball. Do a little design. And go. Can you see? Yeah. My husband's home. Dogs are barking into my bell. Or if somebody's walking by with another dog, or if they hear a car door slam, <laughs> no, they're not that bad, but they can be predictable. When somebody comes to the door, they alert us. So I'm kind of going, doing like a little, almost like a flower petal look. I like that. Looks lacy. I'm going to do that all the way around, give the face some time to dry naturally, and then um, plan on what I'm going to do next, because I'm just, no, no, I'm going step by step. Um, also, too, I remember having a little Charlie Brown, doing Charlie Brown, the characters from Charlie Brown, Valentine, Snoopy, but... I thought Frida would be really cool. And I don't think I could paint a realistic picture of Frida. <laughs> Not that good. I'm just learning. But a cartoon one would be fun. I'm really liking how this looks right now. I'm just having fun with this, guy. So this is just like real kitty fun. I'm going to dry it up a little bit on the face, but this is how it's looking. Isn't that cute? Actually, I might just go um, make a bit of a shirt or something, like a top. And I think I'm just going to do that before I decide to dry anything. And then kind of discover, what am I going to do next? It's just step by step. And... Your guess is as good as mine. Read about now well, what I'm doing. So it's just fun, and I think I might do some a little design on the shirt. But I think I will use my uh, Posca pen. Yes, I said it right this time, right off the bat. My Posca pen. I'm just gonna go. 
kind of in, but not quite into my design here. To do the little design, make it look a little like a Mexican dress top. Very fun! And I think I'm going to need to do the eyes, but I'm going to dry a little bit the done, face first. Getting it done. I'm also thinking a little bit ahead here. I'm like, ooh, I might put, i got to put flowers in her hair. She always has uh, flowers in her hair, so i got to do that. I'm hoping that this is going to look okay. So... Oh dear, am I doing it again where I'm painting um, at an angle and getting a weird wonky picture? <laughs> Can't do that again. So I'm going to hold it up a little bit here. It's a little wonky. I have to make this side bigger. And then... I think it's good. A little wonky. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And I think I'm going to start the flowers before I put her black hair in because that's going to be hard to cover. I don't want to use too much extra paints or anything like that. I just want to have fun and um, use some of my partially used bottles here. So, like this one's, you know, just use them up. They've been old. They're getting old. So, I'm going to. Um, try to do what I seen Teresa do, and I'm not using the right brush. Let's see if I can do one stroke. I'm totally not using the brush. I never even tried it before, so hopefully I'm not going to be too crazy. And I've probably got way too much paint on here. I'm sure I watched her do these roses. And I'm sure I'm not doing them as well as she can. <laughs> I'm actually going to kind of color that in. I think I'll just do the color part more with that one stroke type of ah, dogs movement. And dogs are being So I'm going to now do some hair. And this is, like I said, this is just a cartoon um, kind of expression thing. So you will just have fun with it. It had some time to dry. <laughs> so that's good. But I thought I would do the flowers first, and that's probably a good thing. So I don't have to cover the black. And there we go. Just having fun with it. I think I'm going to end up bringing in some more hair down in this way. But not too sure. And just kind of have fun with that here. And of course, my flowers will be some beautiful bright colors. I don't know. Maybe blue, pink, yellow, something like that. Maybe. So hopefully you guys are having fun with this project and reminiscing <laughs> of your childhood art classes. <laughs> I thought it would be cute and fun. Now I'm going to do more hair. And fill that in. There we go. Just for fun. I'll need a thinner brush finer brush to do some of the details in her eyebrows and in her eyes and that'll be fun
Here we go. And just playing with it. So what are your characters? What's something that you would paint? I thought Frida, because it's kind of art. She reminds me of art. She's an inspiring artist. And I thought cartoon, because I don't think I can get the real um, portrait perfectly done. I'd be very disappointed in myself. So, I thought this would be fun too. A fun challenge. Let's see for my brushes. A little thing on the eyes. I'm going to do the eyes. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure this out. I kind of got this character here. And I'm hoping that I'm doing it justice. Ew, I don't know. I don't think it's curled up enough. I don't know. That is it. That's how it's going to be. It's going to have to be. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of a black um, pupil. It's going to be really big eyes. Cartoon eyes. And I got a lot of black to use. So I'm going to have to do something else with it. It's so cute. It is really cute. To me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm hoping it looks cute to you guys. I'll have to look at it straight on too because, oops, I didn't dry that very well. Um, I tend to do wonky pictures when I'm doing a video because I'm not looking at it straight on. Don't know. I don't know if I like the eye. Oh well. Now I'm gonna do a little brown around. I'm gonna do a little brown. I had to spray my my palette here with some water, and then I put the other ice cream lid one on top to try to keep the paint from drying up while I was away. This is too wet. So and it worked really well. Just to run and drive my husband to work. I should probably dry this a little bit more. We'll see how it works out. I've got quite a bit of water on this paint here. I might have to put a little bit more white around, but I can use my Posca pen to do the real fine stuff if I want to, or I could just use a really fine, find my really fine brush. I find cartoons a lot easier than doing realistic faces. So it's, this is fun. Or even like crazy, uh, whimsical faces too I sometimes struggle with. Okay, I'm gonna dry her out. I'm gonna kind of pencil them in a little bit. And then we're gonna have a bit of a brow like this, I think. And then we're gonna have Um, unibrow happening. Pretty nice. As we, when Cora was little, she had a little bit of a, just a little bit more hairier eyebrows, so there were, Terry used to call, tease her and call them my husband. 
said caterpillars. She had caterpillar eyes. Now when she frowns, um, I kind of tease her because she looked, I said, oh, look, your caterpillars are kissing because <laughs> she frowns and her little eyebrows go closer together. So cute. And then she just cracks up laughing as soon as I say it. So it's pretty funny. I'm just rolling this around, having fun with it, painting in all sorts of directions. Yep, it's pretty good. It's pretty fun. I'm going for it. It's pretty crazy. This one might not be thin enough for the center eye pieces. I will try. I think that's cute. Let's see here. Look for anything really, really thin. I know I have a really hair, hair thin. Hmm, <laughs> might not be good enough. Changing my brush. It's a bit of an angle brush, but I'm going to see how it looks. See if I can get a little bit of a maybe a better shape. There we go. Might be a much. Don't know. I'm going to let this clean it off. So that's the fun. That's my piece. That's so fun. I might take some of that away. There you go. I just painted over some of it here. Oops. Just not the right brush, I think. But there we go. Now I have to do, whoa, a little mouth. And a little nose. So I'm going to try a little nose. I think this brush is splitting on me. I think that's the problem I'm having. There's a little nose. A little off. And now I'm going to go for a bit of a pink lips, I think. I'm going to use the rosy and then just do a little bit of a right here. Rose on the side here, a little bit of white. Nothing too fancy. It's my Valentine. I don't know, maybe I should have done a red. She like, I think she wore a lot of red, right? But she's so cute like this. Do a bit of a rose of cheeks. Could always go over it with the, the skin tone, but I don't like it. It's cute. cute. I let my brush kind of dry out and I'm just going to keep going over it and over it. Adding a tat of white, pulling a little white in there. Till I get a color that I like. Frida Valentine. I really didn't do anything too fancy, like no shading or anything. So, just a fun little cartoon. 
do some earrings. Now the background, am I happy with the background? I actually do have to add more white for her shirt. I'm still trying to use them up, so I'm going to go with the yellow first. I don't know if I could do that one stroke, but I'm going to do my best to kind of make it look rosy. I still got lessons to learn on <laughs> on this, I think, flower making, flower painting. So, I have to watch uh, Teresa better. <laughs> she does that one stroke and she makes it look so easy. She says it's easy. If she can do it, anyone could do it. Don't know. So I like that. And I'm just going to wipe it away and see. I don't know what I get with the. Um, I'm going to use the deep red, even though I have some of the, the other kind left over there because I, I think. I'm used to seeing Frida in some of her images wear like really bright red clothing and and stuff so and red lipstick and uh, I didn't put the red lipstick on but it's a cartoon for you so we can get away with it there we go and then I will just do a marker I think like the co uh, the Posca pen for the lines in my green the stem lines or whatever So fun, so pretty, and so wet. Very wet. I just moved my red. I'm gonna go down a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. I hope it hasn't been too far up, guys. I hate that when I totally destroy a video for you guys <laughs> and uh, do it way too far away. That's just like, oh, makes me so sad. But it happens. I do that sometimes. I don't realize how far off I am. Where I am. Yeah, those are chips. I am now going to do some white, uh, bright eyes dots. I think. This is all dry too, so I'm not going to smear this time on here. There we go, so pretty. What do you think of my Frida? I think she's pretty. Chloe's making a lot of noise over there. Chloe, let's take her. She's looking for a dog clicker. There we go. go in with a little bit more yellow if this is dry enough up here just to what's left over here it's not quite the flowers I wanted but very pretty anyhow I'm gonna use up what I have here I got some red and white this is like that lipstick color and I'm just gonna Probably put like some little markings in her shirt. Just like that. Nothing particular, just whatever the paintbrush will do. Just like that. And oh, I gotta make some arms too. There we go. Maybe I'll add a little bit of the lipstick red in her lips. Make it more Frida. The pink is nice, but maybe I'll add, yes, I like that red. Leaving a little outline of the pink. So there we go. She's so pretty. I keep telling myself that it is. She's pretty. She's pretty. I don't know if I want to go over. I'm going over her face just a little bit. 
in some spots because it's, a, it's the color is good but I've got a little bit of paint zealous on the paint here and there or it's not quite covering right to the edge and I got lots of paint I've got lots of paint so I'm gonna do so that I don't I'm know guys that. I think I should go in some darker colors maybe try to get some shading going on so just a flat face I'm not gonna have too much add too much I'm just gonna go a little bit in the ears to start with just a little bit in the ears to start with so this is that um, I think it's the cocoa the cocoa whatever color and I might just go a little bit in here see how her nose is crooked I have to fix that her nose is way off that's okay her nose was way off I knew that too I'm like it, it's it's way off just by going following my brow line going in with a little bit of the darker color I wasn't sure I was gonna do this but now let's see if I can get with this brush a decent nose it might be too thick it might be just right there we go cheek thing I think I like going over the cheek thing a little bit and making it a little lighter. Yeah, I'm just going to probably do my little border. And I decided on this uh, peacock teal. And I'm actually probably just going to shake it and use the lid. And then if I run out of... Oh, okay, no, I'll just pour it in there. Whoa. I was like, no. It's just got a little hole in there. And then I'm just going to probably play with that. It's a little bit of a different color than I thought I would use. Got quite a bit of it, so. Just gonna doodle paint now. Make it look a little lacy. I'm getting closer. I'm done. I don't know if I want to put anything on her, like a Frida quote or anything like that. I think I'm just going to leave it. I really like this. This was fun. I hope you guys give this challenge a try. Get back to your your childhood uh, Valentine's that you guys had to make. If you guys did them, I think um, <laughs> I did them so many years in school that somebody, somebody out there had to have done them as well. So I think it's going to be fun to do your throwback art. And so I'm calling it too. I'm calling it back throwback art, like from childhood. We could do something and improve it. In my case, I'm kind of just making it it's kind of the same as when I was a kid. Anyways, just doing, I think I used pencil crayons, though I didn't have paints. I just colored with my pencil crayons. But um, I got to use paints this time. And I believe it was grade 6, too, when I really started doing some fun, fancy stuff. Different characters and stuff like that. I did this really nice Mickey Mouse one, I remember. I loved Mickey Mouse. Fantasia was my favorite from Mickey Mouse the original. I had the poster on my wall when I was a kid. Loved it. So this is it guys. I think I'm going to leave her like this. I like that it kind of looks lacy now with this peacock. I don't think I need anything else. What do you think? And that's it. Yep. Yeah, definitely got to take care of my brushes better. Leaving them soak too long in the water is not good. So I'm going to bring them upstairs and I'm going to wash them out this time. And hopefully they won't be too soon. Okay. I'm starting to flip them around and do too much craziness with them. So I'm just going to go with my little one here to get really close to my nice frilly border. And she is done, my friends. I hope you like her. I hope you try this um, throwback art challenge. And 
And um, yeah, you guys show me what you got. Show me what you got, because I think, whoops, that's two. Gotta oh, rinse this off. Oh no, I'm gonna pull that off. The stuff underneath is dry, but I had a little too much red in there. I just want to get a little further down on this side. Get some of that border fixed up here. There we go. I am done, you guys. Hope you like my Frida. Valentine Frida. So, I think that is it. I don't think I have to add anything else. I could doodle or something like that if I want. But, yeah. I think I'm pretty much done. So, I decided to put some metallic lusters, um, cosmic blue on the back. Can I stop? No, I'm going to get my finger a little bit wet. Go in here because it gets dried out. But you know what? You guys can, um, if you get these metallic lusters, um, you could just wet your fingers. It works really nice. Wet your brush, whatever you want. In fact, I will just wet my brush and where's my nice round? Wet my brush and go around in here just to make it a little bit lustry. I think I can do that. It's never too late to add some shimmer. So, usually I do my gold, but and I almost did. I was like, ooh, I should add gold. And then I'm like, wait, I got blue. I got blue. And I don't want to add, like, uh, something to make it take it away. But I think this blue will look nice. Now, remember, I have a gesso, so it's set with that... Um, uh, twist sticks in the back so it's not going to move. So that's pretty cool. Then I'm just going to put a matte uh, finish on here. See, I must have touched that earlier. And then I'm going to be done. Sealing that in. So, I think it's cute. Fun. This was fun. I haven't done a Frida free before, so I'm pretty. I might have to do more cartoon ones. I don't think <laughs> one day maybe I'll do the real realistic pose of, you know, drawing. If I ever get that good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Have fun. Definitely, definitely felt like a child. But great, good childhood memories with doing art. So, and that's what it's all about having feeling good about your art and stuff so if it takes going back then that's what you do go back to where you started and have fun with it so I think that's the last thing I'm going to do I just had to add a little bit more when I realized that I oh yeah I have this that I can add such metallic lessons such metallic luster. There we go. Dude, it's a beer trifle. Thanks, guys, for watching. And like I said before, don't forget to craft like a duck and try the challenge and tag me in it because I'd love to see it. Tag me on Facebook and if you do videos and um, tweet, tweet it, whatever. I love it. Love seeing all you guys chat with me. Bye, guys. Don't forget to craft like a duck.